Hey guys, so today we saw a couple more companies have their earnings as we kind of close up this big earnings week with a lot of big names like airlines and even uh, credit cards and other type of banking institutions are having earnings this week. And one of the main companies that I was watching here was Boeing because of the fact that they've had such an up and down history here in the last year. And ever since the economic downturn, it's kind of hard for investors to put a value on their company. And this was going to be a crucial earnings to kind of see whether or not they were going to continue upwards or maybe have a downwards reversal here. Now, one of the main things I was looking at is what the company said not was their actual profit and loss for this year and for this quarter, but what they were planning on doing heading forward into the future. Now, one of the main things that I actually did notice from the earnings was that they lost $2.4 billion and the fact that they are slashing aircraft production plans and their warning of new job cuts as this uh, economic downturn continues taking a toll on the company. You can see that the earnings are terrible, but the stock is higher according to Barron's. And so that's kind of one of the things that I want to make a play on here on Boeing as a swing trade in the short run. And one of the main reasons why I want to show you this is because of this chart over here. Now you can see that Boeing, I didn't mark it up on purpose because a lot of you guys asked me how exactly I see these lines. And so I want to show you this time that Boeing, before these, this last trend where they had a huge uh, monster run here in the last few uh, months, they had this long period where they were kind of coming into a small wedge pattern. You can see that their price never broke below the 119 here and they had a small wedge pattern and when they came up to the bottom of the wedge the last day they had a huge pull to the downwards direction looking like maybe they were going to break the wedge and then the very next few days they went absolutely ballistic into a huge bull run and if i'm being honest that's exactly what i see happening here on boeing as well on this last chart on the hourly chart and even on the daily chart this both are visible where you can see that they're having a price bottom around the 170 range and not breaking below there however similar to the last time they were in this wedge pattern they're having a single time where they're coming below and now they're even starting to come up a bit as a result of this earnings is why they kind of broke down below the the pattern here however i have a hypothesis that in the next two or three days we could see another monster bull run like how we've seen here with the last one around June of, uh, of this year. So in May to June, that was literally a month of them just skyrocketing in value, almost $130 here. So I think that it could happen again if we do see any sort of news here come out in the next few days or even if the market just trends sideways on Boeing, then I would take this as an indication that we're having a consolidation before a big move to the upwards direction. Now, stocks don't just follow a pattern like this for no reason. There's two things that could be exactly happening here with Boeing. And one of them is either that they're going to break to the downside or they're going to break to the upside. However, with the SPY and with the S&P being at all time highs right now and climbing higher as a result of this FOMC meeting that we're seeing right now as I'm speaking, I feel that Boeing is not the type to break to the downside. Additionally, they're in a much better situation that they were financially when they were worth around $120. So you can't just expect them to be coming back to this price when so many new investors have stepped into the market and especially when so many new factors have played on the stock market and we're so close to coming into a vaccine or basically a solution to our problem here with the economy being closed. Additionally, we're seeing a lot of airlines report higher and higher numbers as far as how full their flights are. So it's very critical here that you don't kind of over assume that these stocks can crash to any given price and kind of realize where we are in the grand scheme of things and how close we actually are to a solution to this problem with uh, with the economic downturn and with everything happening here in the long and short run that you shouldn't bet downwards on a lot of these stocks. Now, Boeing is not a stock that is near all time highs. They're literally down over 100% from their $300 price tag and they're worth about half of that right now. And they've been all the way up to 233 in the last few months. However, you can see that they're falling into this wedge pattern. And that's exactly the reason why I bought 150 shares of Boeing 
yesterday at around the $170 price range. Now today the shares dipped to around $162, but I did not sell. And that the reason why I didn't sell is because part of the analysis that you have to do when you're doing this technical analysis is you have to see whether or not this uh, stock has broken out of the channel or whether or not they're just having a move related to earnings and are looking to come back up to, to, the, to the top of this wedge here or if they're looking to be a sellable position. And I think that they are looking to come back to the top of the wedge here because of the fact that we've seen a nice strong bounce around five or six dollars of movement here to the upside and they're around 167. But I think they could come up to maybe 170 within the next few days. And then once they break this wedge around the 174 mark, then the sky's the limit for Boeing here in the next few months to weeks time. And that's why I'm going in so strongly on them and putting my whole account basically on this play because I feel that it could be a very, very big earner here within the next few weeks to months time period. Now, especially if we look at these other indicators here, a lot of these key indicators, the MACD is under the midline. So it's indicating an oversold or a basically downwards momentum. However, you can see that the blue line is going to start to overtake and they were starting to overtake here in the last week however they came back below because of the earnings run but now what we're seeing is that maybe the blue line is trying to start gaining more momentum and come above the orange kind of signifying that this stock is in an upwards trend so we just have to wait on that to happen here as we kind of hope that Boeing breaks this pattern of selling off here that they've had within the last week and can continue back into the wedge here. If they do hit 169 again, I'll probably buy even more shares because of the fact that this kind of confirms the wedge theory. And I do see them. You see that the wedge is literally about to end. There's no more space for this wedge to form. So sometime here within the next few days to weeks period, we should be seeing Boeing kind of ripping up here and at least coming up above the wedge, which would put them around the 180 to 200 mark. And maybe if they can copy the same growth that they had here the last time they broke the wedge, then I would expect to see them around the $300 mark or the 280 here where we do see this small pullback and the small period of consolidation on the way down for Boeing. So I think that's another target that investors are trying to reach here in the short run and especially in the long run. So yeah, guys, just keep a close eye on Boeing. You can see that the RSI is also indicating that they are extremely oversold. So I don't think there will be a lot of opportunity for them to continue selling off within the next few days here to months time. So yeah, just keep a close eye on, on the stock. I think this is going to be one of the biggest earners over the next few days as a result of this technical breakout pattern that we can identify on the stock within the one hour, one day and four hour charts, which is key to kind of confirming that it does exist. And the fact that we're seeing so much good momentum in the upwards direction, even after such a devastating earnings, you can see that they their future outlook wasn't even that special. They're actually showing a very negative output, but the stock didn't sell off more than a few dollars here, and they're now recovering. So they're down only $4 on the day, 2%. And even in the after hours, they were trending upwards as this news had already come out pre-market. So there's a lot of factors here kind of showing you that maybe this was an overreaction and maybe there is a lot more upside coming on Boeing than downside as the market just loves to eat up stocks here and kind of push them in the upwards direction regardless of whether or not they deserve to be. So yeah, just kind of take an eye on Boeing. I feel that this is going to be one of the biggest gainers here in the next few weeks to months time frame and especially if they can have a repetition of this last uh, technical breakout indicator pattern that we are seeing here in the last few months so yeah guys just keep a close eye out on boeing as always don't forget to like and subscribe the video and good luck with the plays